Hi everyone and welcome to this video on Freedom GPT. In this video I'll show you why it might be interesting to use the uncensored Freedom GPT along with Chat GPT. This is my second video about Freedom GPT. In this video I wanted to address some of the issues that some of you were having trying to install Freedom GPT. Let's get started. Now, unlike ChatGPT, which is designed to be more safe and user friendly with safety filter in place, FreedomGPT is an AI chatbot that is designed to be open and unrestricted. It doesn't have any safety filters, so it can generate any kind of contents. This makes FreedomGPT a powerful tool for creativity and explorations. So, here is an example. Here on my left side, I have ChatGBT open, and on my right side, I have FreedomGBT. I'm going to ask both of them the same exact question. It will be a financial advice question. What are the top 10 stocks I could buy right now? And as you can see, ChatGBT refuses to answer my specific investment advice question. But on the other hand, FreedomGBT answered my question and gave me a list of the top stocks I could buy right now. Now let me show you how to install Freedom GBT on your computer. Launch your browser and let's head to Freedom GBT website. I included the link down in the descriptions. Click on the download button based on your operating system. Mine is Windows, so I'm gonna click on this one. Now you need to enter your email address to be able to download the file. Download will start automatically. Once download is complete, we need to open the installer file or exe file. You should see a window that looks like this. There are two different AI models to choose from. Alpaca fast and full and El Llama fast and full. In this example, I will choose Alpaca. Now I need to click on the download button to the right of either the fast or the full, which downloads the same language model file. The language models are large files, four gigabyte in size, so it might take some time to download based on your internet connection speed. So just be patient. It is recommended to have 16 gigabyte of RAM on your PC to run Freedom GBT. If you're not sure how much RAM you have, just look here. It shows you how much RAM on your system. Once my language model file has finished downloading, it should look like this file, a file with a bin extension. Now you should see two select buttons appearing on the left hand side. Let's click on this one and that should launches the Freedom GBT window. And now I can ask it anything I want. To select a different model from the top, Click on the drop down arrow and you should see this window. Now I could select another model. Some people were having issues running Freedom GBT. They claimed it was stuck on the window that says loading model. Here are some of the comments I got on my initial video. Now I think the issue might be due to the relocation of the language model file. So let me show you. If I move my language model file to a different location other than the one initially placed at and launch Freedom GBT, I would see a window that looks like this where it will be stuck at the loading model because it can't find the language model file. To fix it, let's close Freedom GBT and let's relaunch it. Select delete from the right hand side click choose and then find and select your language model file. And then from the left hand side, click on select. That should fix it. Other issues I could think of is that you might not have enough RAM on your PC to be able to run Freedom GBT. It's recommended to have 16 gigabyte of RAM. 
And there you have it, unleash the power of uncensored, unrestricted AI chatbot and explore your imaginations. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.